All right, so where we left off, I was making this general purpose curve that's going to be helpful for the eyebrows and the, the shapes under the eyes. And I'm just rounding out the, the ends a little bit. And I think I want to err on the side of that curved edge being a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. Hit return. I can always go back to the shape underneath and warp it again to line up. with the curve, with that uh, oval. There we go. All right, control T. tweak it a little bit, and I can also warp it if I just need to move it in one area like that. Don't always need to just do the full scale. But you see how that looks cleaner as an overall shape than without it. Now I'm going to duplicate that and move that duplicate to the other side. And that shape, it's a little wonky in some places with all the warping. Let's see if I can warp again. Warp the initial warp and smooth it out a little bit. And then shrink this a tiny bit with Control T. And maybe even warp it. So lots of warping going on. So it looks like one smooth shape, but all created with a vector. So all three of those make up that one shape. So I'm going to select all three of them and put them into its own group. I can even label the group. So this is the, the curve. And I can label this group call it the hmm that was weird so by calling it the hand that just helps me remember what these groups are and each of those contain multiple shapes so I've got all these shapes now I've got the hand on one group and I've got this curve on another. All right. So let's layer them up. It's a good time to save my progress, especially because my computer did something weird. Now I'll take that curve and I'm going to make a duplicate of it right away. Command J and it will duplicate the entire folder. Then I will move that in, control T, use it for this eyebrow. Then I can duplicate it again and then do control T and I can actually flip it horizontally. So it's a perfect match, mirror image. And line that up on this side. For graphics, it's often good to find markers. And we'll be learning more ways to do that. For instance, we can hit Command R and we can pull with the Move Tool viewing guides 
because I want the edge of the eyebrow to line up right with the side of the ellipse. So you can see that those match. And you can toggle those viewing guides on and off with command semicolon, but we'll learn those skills later. For now, we're just getting introduced. We're doing the best we can with these. And then I might decide I want to alter these a little bit from the original emoji. And you can transform with Control T a whole folder rather than just an individual layer. This will give us lots of practice. Okay, now for the shape underneath the eyes. I think I can use the same curve. So I'm going to duplicate it. Move it down. Control T. Shrink it. And sh flip this vertically. You can always use your arrow keys to nudge it. And I can stretch it. I can make it match, but I think I actually like it a little bit narrower than the original. All right. And then I can duplicate that. Move it over to the other side. Now, if I want to move this teardrop shape above, over and above that, I can grab that and just drag it up on top. Remember, it's just like layers of paper. And if I want to use the Move tool and just move it a little bit out of the way like that, that's perfectly appropriate as well. I'm trying to see if I want to do anything more with the eyebrows. And I think I do. So let's hmm. I want to have at least one echo curve. So I'm going to take this curve, I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to control T. I'm going to flip it horizontally and then flip it vertically, which is the same as flipping it 180 degrees. I'm going to line it up with it like that. So you kind of see what I'm going for. Turn my layers back on. Control T, warp is not available when you're doing it to a whole folder. But you can distort it and scale it. 
And with enough familiarity about angling it and distorting it and scaling it, you can still have a lot of control even though you can't warp it fully. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to control T again and stretch it this way so it's a little bit thicker, and then move it up. Now we've talked about scale, rotate, and warp. We haven't talked about distort. Distort can help you from just the corners. Kind of tweak it. So I want this corner to overlap a little bit differently. So it's like warping, but it just, it's not the full chicken wire, it's just from the corners. but anything that can get you to the shape you want. And you can work from both sides. Lots of subtlety here to do something pretty simple. this combined squiggly eyebrow. So close. Okay, I think this will get me what I want. And then you can always open the folders 
and just warp the individual. 